Summary of El Amino P by Mark Dunn El Amino P lives on a made-up island off the coast of South Carolina called Nollop. The island is named after Nevin Nollop, who is said to have written the pangram The Quick Brown Fox Jumps Over the Lazy Dog. The people of Nollop are proud of their large vocabulary and creative ways to use words. The story is told through a number of letters written to and from different people on the island. The letters start in July and end in November, just a few months later. When the book starts, Ella, who lives in the busy town of Nollopton, writes to her cousin Tossie, who lives in the quieter village of Nollopville, to tell her that something strange has happened. In the middle of Nollopton is a figure of Nollop. Each letter of the pangram is written on a tile at the base of the statue. The tile with the letter Z on it falls off the figure one day. The High Island Council, which is in charge of running the island, thinks this is a sign from Nollop in the afterlife that people shouldn't use the letter Z in speech or writing anymore. They decide that the first offense will lead to a verbal warning, the second to a choice between being flogged or getting a headstock, and the third to being kicked off the island. Ella decides to be careful and follow the rules for now, but Tossie is angered by Ella's answer and points out that books are already being taken out of the library. Ella knows that not being able to use the letter Z is a problem because they can't write correctly about this event in the history books without using the letter. In the days after the Z ban, people in Nollop quickly get their first and second charges. When friends turn each other in, they keep old grudges and grievances alive, which makes people afraid of each other. One young man named Willie Creevy is kicked out after breaking the rules three times. Soon, a second letter falls. It is the letter Q, which is quickly banned. People start to rebel, and one family, the Rasmussens, wears cartoon masks and quacks at an open council meeting to show their disapproval. The whole family, including two nine-year-old girls, is flogged in public while the rest of the town sees and does nothing. After this happens, Ella and her family start holding meetings for the underground opposition. Mitty, Toss's mother and a math teacher, gets in trouble for the first time for using the word dozen in class. One of her children, Timmy, tells his mother, Georgian Togate. Georgian then tells the police about Mitty's wrongdoing. As the weeks go by, an American researcher named Nate Warren writes to Tossie and Mitty and asks to stay in their home and meet with the council. He's interested in Nollop, and he wants to write a piece about what's going on there so that people can see how bad the council is at running things. He also says that scientists have looked at the glue on the tiles and that the only reason they are falling is that the glue has worn out, not because Nollop is a god. He asks if they can try to get the council together to show them these results. Midi and Tossit say they will help him. When the third tile, a J3 falls, the council says that it is acting based on Nollop's will and that anyone who says otherwise will be punished for heresy. They say that Nollop was omniscient because he was able to make his 35-letter pangram, which is something that can't be done again or beat. When J is taken away, D soon follows. Ella is sad that they won't be able to say much about the past without D and that the Nolopians will lose their own history because of this. The council also sends out an order with different names for each day of the week. Nate moves to Nollop, and he and Tosses start dating almost right away. Mitty quits her job as a teacher because, she says, you can't talk without the word and. Also, Ella's mother, Gwinnett, gets two offenses for using the word diminished in a letter to Mitty. This is because the council says they will now check papers for words that are against the law. Also, the U.S. stops trading with Nollop, which makes things hard for Ella's dad, Amos, who ships jugs of moonshine. Nate and Tossie go to the council to talk about what the scientists found. One council member, Red Eric Little, says that Nollop is really working through the science and that he made the glue on the tiles fail. Nate says that if they can come up with a shorter pangram than Nollop, the council will admit that he wasn't good enough to be worshipped, and the laws will be thrown out. Little agrees, but he says they only have six weeks to finish the task and must come up with a pangram with 32 letters. All of the people on Nollop start working on this task, which they call Enterprise 32, even though by this time, many people have been kicked off the island or moved because of how dangerous it is. 
The council also says that the property of anyone who has been kicked off the island or has left it will be taken away. Soon after, the letters F and B fall, giving Mitty a second offense, which is again recorded by George and Togate. The Law Enforcement Brigade, LEB, also starts to look for illegal letters by searching people's homes. Professor Mannheim comes up with the smallest pangram so far, which has 44 letters. Also, Tossi starts sending threats to the council from an unknown source. Then, George and Togate writes to Mitty and asks her for help. Children under the age of eight are not required to follow the laws, but the school says that her son Timmy turned eight before she thought he would, so he has officially been breaking the law. Mitty tries to help George and by looking for proof that Timmy is still seven, but she can't find anything. Timmy is kicked off Nollop, but Georgian stays there. Soon after, the government puts Tossie in the care of the LEB because they think she was the one who made the mysterious threats. Ella's father, Amos, also gets a third offense, and in his goodbye letter, he asks Ella and her mother to do him a favor, pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs? The letter C falls on the same day, and the letter V falls soon after. Nate saves Tossa from the prison on the island, and the two of them flee to the U.S. with Mitty. Gwinnett makes a third mistake, so she is also sent away, leaving Ella on Nollop all by herself. When Georgian comes to Ella's door looking for Mitty, she wants to know if her sister has moved in with her. Ella meets her and invites her to stay for a while. Ella also meets Tanya, a woman who is one of the few people left on Nollop, along with Professor Mannheim and his helper Tom. Together, they are working on Enterprise 32, and they find a 43-letter pangram. With 11 days left in the challenge, the letter U is the first vowel to be taken off the list. The council then makes a rule that people can use letters to stand in for other people, but they must do it in writing. Soon after, the letter X falls. While Mannheim and Tom are trying to work on Enterprise 32, they are questioned by the LEB, and Mannheim uses an illegal letter during an interview with the police. He doesn't want to be sent to the US, though, and when he tries to escape, he is shot and killed. Since he has no other family left on Nollop, he sends his young daughter Paula to Ella. After Mannheim dies, Tom also goes into hiding, leaving Ella to take care of Enterprise 32 on her own. Since there aren't many people left on the island, Georgian gets more and more lonely, so she starts painting her own body. She does this by painting with lead-based paint, which kills her. Tanya also leaves Nollop and takes Paula with her because she thinks Nollop is now a waste. With only four days left to finish the council's task, G is the last letter to fall. Ella stops writing to her family in the United States because she finds it too hard to say everything she wants to say in so few letters. With only one day left in the task, eight tiles fall, leaving only the letters L, M, N, O, and P. Ella writes one last letter of defiance in which she says, No more nollop pomp. No more nollop poo poo. Then she finds the last letter from her father, which says, Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Ella sees that this statement is a 32-letter pangram by accident. When Ella sends Little this sentence, the laws are quickly thrown out, and everyone on the council except Little quits. Tom is able to come out of hiding and destroy the figure of Nollop with Ella's help. Ella wants them to put up a sculpture of a big box full of 60 moonshine jugs in its place. She says, disorder to match the clutter and chaos of our marvelous language. About the author. Mark Dunn was born in the Tennessee city of Memphis. He went to Memphis State University to study film and then went to the University of Texas to get an advanced degree in screenwriting. In 1987, he went to New York. He worked at the New York Public Library and wrote plays at the same time. Since then, Dunn has written five books and more than 30 plays, including Bells and Five Tellers Dancing in the Rain. Dunn's first book, El Amino P, came out in 2001. Dunn now lives in New Mexico's Santa Fe. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.